We're absolutely honored and delighted to be with you today. So uh, my name is Tessakaya Gabriel. It's a mouthful. Most people call me Tess. And I am the Executive Director of Pathways to Peace. This workshop is sponsored by Pathways to Peace, and the presenters today represent core partner programs of Pathways to Peace. So we're going to begin today in the midst of all of this beautiful activity, in the midst of all the busyness and everything that we wish we had time to see and could only see one or two things, we're going to take a moment to experience peace. So we'd like you to settle into your seats today, right here, right now. We choose peace. And the, we're going to be assisted by a video from Live a Moment, the app, that hopefully you've gotten a handout on. And this particular video on the app is a reflection of the Ashland Culture of Peace Commission, which we're going to have a presentation for today. So before we begin to plunge into what does it mean to build a culture of peace? What are the tools, what are the models, what are the technology that can assist us in building a culture of peace? We're going to take a moment. We're going to have a global pause to open our hearts and open our minds. Settle into your chairs and breathe. What if you were calm and he was calm and she was calm? Just for a moment. This is the power of one collectively. Yeah, I 
you. So today we're going to be all about asking this question, how do you build a culture of peace? We recognize and honor that every single person in this room is committed to building peace. And while the culture of peace is an initiative of the United Nations Pathways to Peace and other peace building organizations, we know that it's both global and local. And what we hope that you can take out of our time today is really something of value, something about the model, some of the tools or the technology that can really strengthen your peace building back at home, whether it's global or local. So we're going to be bringing back this question. And we're going to ask you to kind of hold your questions. And at the end, we're going to give you an opportunity to share your thoughts, your work, that builds a culture of peace. So we'll give you an opportunity to together explore that. Because we know we have only pieces of that puzzle. And you all carry pieces as well. So I'm going to spend just a moment talking about Pathways to Peace. As I said, I'm the Executive Director of Pathways to Peace. And we know, especially as women, but we all know that it's important to honor our past, to be able to embrace the present moment, and to be able to envision the future. And so we're going to step back and honor our founder, who is continuing to do peace building around the world, but cannot be here today because of an injury. And that's Ava Madison. For those of you who've been peace building for a long time, I suspect you recognize Ava Madison. She has been building peace for 40 decades, and she has been embracing the pathways to peace. The values of Pathways to Peace are that we embrace being multicultural, intergenerational, that we work through cooperation and collaboration, and that we believe that everyone is a pathway to peace. So all diverse pathways to peace. We are a consulting, educational, and mentoring organization and we really work to support peace builders, peace building organizations, and peace building initiatives around our world, <clears throat> building a culture of peace. So yes, AVEN and Pathways to Peace was there. Was there when, in the inauguration of the International Day of Peace. And um, AVEN and her colleagues were there when the United Nations endorsed a culture of peace. And part of the definition given that was that a culture of peace is a set of values, attitudes, traditions, and modes of behavior, and ways of life. So from our perspective, the culture of peace unites the strengths of organizations, networks, projects, and people to realize a culture of peace for the common good. The Culture of Peace Initiative also serves as a vehicle for bringing to light many previously unseen and unheard peace builders working along diverse pathways who are embodying the emerging culture of peace within humanity. So the culture of peace is not just an initiative. It's really about shifting mindset and behavior in all aspects of our societies. As we move from force to reason, from conflict and violence to dialogue 
and peace building with the result of embracing humanity's interconnectedness and oneness. With care for the planet, care for all people, peace is for all people in all generations. We define peace as innate state of being that we get to be peace, which means embracing inner peace, and a dynamic, transformative, and evolutionary process. So how many of you have found your peace building to be dynamic, informative, and evolutionary? Life-changing in your own life, yes? Yes. yes. That's how we see peace as well. So it's not about sitting down in a circle and, well, it can be about that, but, but it isn't about being a love child, a flower child. It isn't the peace movement of our grandmothers and our mothers. It really is a relevant peace, a peace that sees and acts through justice a peace that really works for all people and all generations. We recognize that our stories have power. So I'd like to take just a moment and bring us back to where we live as women in this moment in time. I think we all know that times they are changing and women are rising, right? You can see it, you can feel it. Some have called it the era of the divine feminine. This is our time. And we believe that our stories have power because our stories, when we share our stories, we're sharing our voices, <laughs> lifting our voices. And when we lift our voices through story, we become creative, we become innovative, we become leaders in changing the planet. So, building a culture of peace today really means that we first choose peace. And that's that peace within, hopefully that we had an opportunity to tap into with the meditation from Live a Moment this morning or this afternoon. Oh my, it's this afternoon. <laughs> um, and so it begins with peace within in that we need to embrace peace for ourselves and it emanates out from us. And sometimes it feels like that's not enough um, and sometimes it isn't enough. Sometimes it takes us into all sorts of peace building initiatives and activities. But just know that being peace in the world is being a change agent. And so what we're learning is that, that you know, we've known for a long time that peace isn't just about uh, not having war. It is really about a way of being. And when we embrace that for ourselves and interactions with our families, within our communities, and with our planet, everything changes. And there's recognition now, right, that some of the things that were often thought about as traditional female qualities are now finally being endorsed as a more effective approach. Compassion, treating each other with dignity and respect, collaboration, partnership, and peace that really embraces reality and moves us forward into a new vision, a new form of peace a peace that moves mountains. So, 
we need to just move into our power, lift our voices, connect those voices to our stories, and allow this creativity and innovation to surface and change our world. And that's what we're here about today. In this workshop, we're going to um, we're going to share some stories that those stories that took us to where we are and where they've taken us is into personal peace and changing the face of our world locally, globally. And at the end, as I said, we'll give you an opportunity to share what has worked for you when we ask the question, how do you build a culture of peace? So with that, I'd like to introduce very briefly our panelists. And um, starting here on this end is Georgie Chapman. And she is going to tell you about an amazing campaign that was uh, the result of her story uh, called A Journey to the Heart. And then we have Irene and David who are going to share with you the Ashland Culture of Peace Commission and the World Peace Flame Dedication. We have Deborah Green, who is the developer and the founder of Live a Moment. You've already experienced um, some of her work. And at last and not least, we're going to round up with Elizabeth Sheridan, who is going to share with you the Global Leaders Toolkit. And so we welcome you here. We're delighted that you're here. And we're going to move forward.